Psalm 147 is a lovely psalm of praise, probably written during the time of Ezra and Nehemiah. If you know your biblical history, that's just when the exiles who were taken away to Babylon were allowed to come home. So rejoicing in their homecoming, even though they were in many ways a, a small group of people, they, they were very aware of their weaknesses, but still they were so glad to be home. Well, this psalm applies just as much to us today. When we look at ourselves compared to God, we are also very aware of our weakness and all very aware of how much we want to come home to God, as it were. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How delightful and how right. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem and bringing the exiles back to Israel. He heals the brokenhearted, binding up their wounds. He counts the stars and calls them all by name. How great is our God! His power is absolute. His understanding is beyond comprehension. The Lord supports the humble and he brings the wicked down into the dust. Sing out your thanks to the Lord. Sing praises to our God, accompanied by harps. He covers the heavens with clouds, provides rain for the earth, and makes the green grass grow in mountain pastures. He feeds the wild animals, and the young ravens cry to him for food. The strength of a horse does not impress him. How puny is his sight! In, is the strength of a man. Rather, the Lord's delight is in those who honour him, those who put their hope in his unfailing love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has fortified the bars of your gates and blessed your children within you. He sends peace across your nation and satisfies you with plenty of the finest wheat. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. He sends the snow like white wool. He scatters frost upon the ground like ashes. He hurls the hail like stones. Who can stand against his freezing cold? Then... At his command, it all melts. He sends his wings and the ice thaws. He has revealed his words to Jacob, his principles and laws to Israel. He has not done this with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Yes, God has called us to come home to him. And the wonderful thing is that it's not just restricted to one nation anymore. Now it is to all people of all nations, of all generations, of all stations in life. The call goes out to come and come home to God. Oh, how good it is to sing praises to our God. How delightful and how right. Yes, indeed. Let's pray. Lord, you cover us with good things. You shower us with your blessings. You have rescued us and brought us home for wherever you are. That is where we belong, close to you, held securely in your hands. Lord, 
we praise you and we glorify you. Amen.